Hello everyone and welcome to this spoken tutorial on construction of the mixing tank. This is an activity to be done on day 2. In this tutorial, we will learn significance of the mixing tank and how to construct a mixing tank. Let's first understand the significance of the mixing tank and the shape of the mixing tank. Mixing tank is where biomass is mixed with water and passed into the digester tank. The mixing tank is usually cylindrical in shape. A mixing tank of height 2 feet and diameter 22 inches has the capacity to hold 25 kgs of manure mixed in water. However, dry manure should never be put into this tank. Manure should always be mixed in equal quantity of water. For example, 25 kgs of manure should be mixed in 25 liters of water. This will ensure free flow of the biomass into the digester tank. Let's see the construction of the mixing tank. For construction, following items are used. Weld mesh sheet of thickness 16 gauge. Some newspaper sand, cement and liquid waterproofing material. The step-by-step -step procedure to construct the mixing tank is as follows. Spread the weld mesh sheet of 69 inches by 24 inches on the ground. Next, at a distance of 34 inches from one end of the sheet, make a hole of size 4 inch diameter with a metal cutting scissor. Now, tie the loose ends end to end with steel wire. We need to make a cylinder-like structure with diameter 22 inches and height 24 inches. Note that the hole has to be at the base of the mixing tank. Now place newspaper or any other paper inside the structure. The paper will hold the sand that will be filled inside this structure. Pour sand up till the brim of the structure. This will give firmness to the mesh while plastering the outer wall. Now we will plaster the outer wall of the mixing tank. Prepare cement mixture as follows. Sand 75 kgs. Cement 25 kgs. Liquid waterproofing material 50 ml thoroughly stirred in 10 liters of water and adequate water to mix this mixture well. Note that 
no gravel is used in this mixture. Start plastering the outside wall of the mixing tank as shown here. Finally, smoothen the plastering using a wooden trowel. The mixing tank should be left overnight for curing. Next day, take out all the sand placed inside the mixing tank. This must be done carefully so as to not break the plastered outer wall of the mixing tank. Once the sand is taken out, plaster the inside wall of the mixing tank. Prepare fresh cement mixture as was prepared for outer wall of the mixing tank. Spread half inch of this mixture on the inside wall. While plastering, please remember the position of the hole that is at the base. We need to break the plaster from here later. Let the plaster on the inside wall dry for 6 to 7 hours. After 6 to 7 hours, remove the plaster at the position of the hole by slightly tapping it. At this point, the mixing tank is ready to be transferred to the actual plant site. Remember, the following has to be completed on the same day, that is, day 2 of civil work. Hence, the mason has to plan accordingly. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Assembly of the mixing tank for the biogas plant will be explained in a later tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt the significance of the mixing tank and how to construct a mixing tank. This video was created by Spoken Tutorial Project along with the inputs from Rural ICT Project, IIT Bombay. More information on these projects is available at this given link. This is Bella Tony along with the animation team of the Spoken Tutorial Project signing off. Thank you for joining.